mm -mm, new gadgets. As I reported in a previous video, I no longer have the sky beacon on the side, so I don't have ADS-B in. So, I've gone a different route. Um, I looked at a bunch of different ADS-B in solutions, and, uh, and I'm talking in. The sky beacon was out, but I had the sky sensor on the other side for in. Well, they're both gone. So I needed an in solution. I like seeing traffic. I like the weather. I like different things it provided. Not having it, once you've had it, you kind of don't want to go back to not having it. So I reviewed several different uh, um, products out there. Finally settled on one. This is what I went with. I went with the Stratix unit. So there it is. I mounted it up here on the windshield. Turn off this light, see if that shows up any better. So just mounted it on the windshield, verified I didn't have any compass interference or anything of that nature. And um, let me dive into exactly why I chose the Stratix over several other options. Okay, so it is in. I've got it strapped down, calibrated, and set up. We're going to see how it, it works with my iFly 740B right at the moment. And I got a little tiny flight I'm going to do from here up to Middlesboro, Kentucky. We're going to give it a go. First flight, see how it works. All right. Well, gas looks good. This is my first time flying out since I had hernia surgery. I'm feeling good, covered well. It's time to go fly. We are off. Bit of trim. Oil pressure's good. Temp's good. Cylinder head temps are good. Everything's looking good. We'll just keep good angle of climb. It's a little hot today. Yeah, the A-Harness is working. So yeah, that thing's supposed to have about a uh, four hour, I think four or five hour battery life on there. It wouldn't get you a full day flying in. I haven't connected it to shit power yet. I'm gonna do that during the, the panel uh, redo. Um, just don't wanna do that quite yet. Yeah, the A-Harness is working well. And I just used uh, the strap that came with it, just strapped it down just like it sort of came. I just strapped it to a couple of uh, little cable straps on the dash to hold it. It's working good right now. So, um, I guess the biggest thing, it says ADSB is receiving right now. Uh... I just want to verify I got traffic somewhere, but there's just nothing out here right now. So we'll come back if we pick up some traffic, verify that's working. We're halfway there, so everything's working fine. I am having a problem. The AV30, AV30 doesn't connect to the Stratix. Uh, it's connected, but GPS and traffic signals aren't going through, so I'm going to have to figure that one out. Um, it may be that UAvionics doesn't have a... support for it yet, so I'll contact them and see uh, see if that's something they can work on, if, if that is indeed the case. Yeah, I got a few little clouds up here, so I gotta, I gotta work on getting around these little rascals. They're just kind of scattered. We're BFR uh, everywhere, just gotta kind of dodge these little burning off. As the fog burns off, it burns off into these little scattered things, but that's about it. Right. A little hot here. That's okay. Plenty of runway. 
nice greasy landing. I couldn't even feel that. Perfect. Yeah, the Ahars works great. All right. Yeah. Well, Ahars works. It's picking up the GPS signal off of it. Um, there's just no traffic out, so maybe there'll be something going back that I'll get to try. Just to make sure we're picking up traffic. It was picking up ADSB uh, um, weather, so I was getting that fine. Man, it's hot. Whew. Sweat dripping into my eyes. And we're coming through the gap here, so. Too low. It's hard to climb today. Caution to rain. You can see here, I got traffic. So the traffic is working. Everything on it's working. The only problem I'm having at all is I can't get it to link to the uh, AV30. So we'll have to uh, work on that. And uh, I'll have to do a report back to see if they uh, ever get that fixed. But right now, can't complain. I like the unit. I guess it'll take some more time to figure out um, if I have any further issues with it. But, uh, yeah, seems seems solid. And the way I got it mounted here, um, the antennas really aren't in the way that, you know, they're behind the compass there. Um, so really don't affect too much. Okay. Talk to you all later.